The first activity that I would like to demo is changing image resolutions. Now I'm going to use the image that you see on screen now. I just pulled it off of our shared site that has all the, the example imagery. And I kind of like the images because they're not great. They're, I took most of them and I'm not a photographer. Um, but I can show you how to take maybe not so great photos and enhance them using Photoshop. And so I'm going to use this image for the demo today. But you can use any image because the things that we're going to learn are they're not tied to a specific image. And so the first thing I would like to demo is changing image resolution. When you want to change the, the resolution of an image, you should do it in one of two ways. The first way is to use the image menu and choose image size. And inside the image size dialog box, um, you can change the resolution and it will basically repopulate the image. Either it'll squish the pixels closer together or it spread them farther apart. You do not want to resample because resampling means to change the number of pixels in the image. And as you can see in this example, this image has a lot of pixels. I captured this using camera, um, not camera raw. I captured this in the raw file format using my DSLR camera. It's got tons of pixels in it, which is pretty cool. And so I don't want to change that. I want to keep the number of pixels the same, but I want to say like, well, how big could it be at different resolutions? This is actually a really big image. It's nine inches by 12 inches or 9 inch change by 12 inch change at standard printing resolution which is 300 uh, pixels per inch. Could also say DPI but let's not get into the details of that right now. But let's say you want to put it on the web. For the web we're going to use 72 resolution and so with the resample I, um, checkbox unchecked if I change this to 72 you could notice that the dimension the pixels across by the pixels tall it's going to stay the same but the width and height are going to change. And what, what happened is we kept the same number of pixels, and in this case, we took them and we spread them further apart. So every one square inch of the image had 72 pixels across and 72 pixels tall. If I wanted to print this on a photo inkjet printer, I might use 240 resolution. And so if I change that to 240, I'm squeezing the pixels closer together. So instead of having 72 pixels for every one inch, I have 240 pixels across and 240 pixels tall. If I was going to print this image at 240 resolution on an output device that that was an appropriate resolution for, I could print it as 11.4 by 15.2. Standard uh, image resolution for commercial printing, we say, is 300. And if you watch the lecture, you learn that's kind of like a it's kind of a catch-all. We say 300 because it should work for most printing processes, but there's actually a formula you can use. and You don't actually have to use 300 resolution all the time. But as a general purpose, let's say we're going to send it to commercial offset lithography printing, and the default resolution is 300. If I was printing this at 300 resolution, I could um, output it as 9.12 by 12.16 inches, which is really large. I could even print it at, let's say, 600 resolution. And if I did that, I could print it at 4.56 by 6.08. I'm going to leave it at 300 because that's what it was at and select OK. The second way that you can change the resolution of an image is to crop the image. And so when you're cropping the image, um, you're going to look at your options bar up here and you're going to make sure you're choosing the width, the height, and the resolution. And in this case, um, the last time I cropped an image, I cropped it to 7 inches by 5 inches at 72. I could edit all these fields. I could crop it to 5 inches by 3 inches at 72. And if I zoom out, well actually I should probably do 3 inches by 5 inches because this image is a portrait orientation image. And then I could move the picture around and I could crop it to what my needs might be. When I did that, the image got really small because what I did, if we go to image and image size, is I changed the resolution of the image when I cropped it. But notice that I didn't just kind of um, recalculate the image, I changed it. It's now 3 inches by 5 inches at 72. And when an image is a specific size like that, it has a specific number of pixels. And my thousands of pixels have now been lowered down to 216 pixels across by 360 pixels tall. Now, neither option is right or wrong. They serve two different purposes. But just make sure that you're not cropping and losing pixels unless you're doing that for a very specific reason. For example, I may be putting this on a website. Having thousands of pixels in my website, that's not a good idea. But 216 by 360, that might be a good idea for my website.